What's up, guys? It's me, Boxing, and I just finished up watching Stephen Fulton versus Angela Leo, which is a 12-rounder for the WBO Super Bantamweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, January 23rd, from the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut. And this fight was broadcasted on Showtime. And in this fight, it really showed the grit, the toughness, the endurance, and the speed of Stephen Fulton as he gets the job done getting a unanimous decision win over Angelo Leo to become the new WBO Super Bantamate World Champion. And I personally scored the fight 117-111. In my opinion, the scorecards were a little too wide, but um, two judges scored at 118-110, which I could possibly see, but one of them scored at 119-109, which is a little too wide for my taste, but everyone has their opinions. But um, overall, I think it was a very, very good performance from Stephen Fulton. Originally, I was predicting Stephen Fulton on points. I mean, I would say I got it correctly with um, Stephen Fulton winning, obviously, going the distance um, through 12 rounds and winning on a 10-point must system. But obviously, I did predict a majority decision as opposed to a unanimous decision. And um, as the fight started, Angelo Leo was landing some effective good body shots. But then as the fight went on, after a headbutt round, uh, I believe it was at the end of the first or the and end of the second. It was early on in the fight where Angelo Leo did get a cut, but good thing it wasn't a main factor in this fight. But um, as time went on, Leo was sort of getting gassed, and Fulton was just taking advantage. He was just teeing off with the jab, landing some good inside work of his own. And I got to um, sort of credit uh, Stephen Fulton for his inside work as as most of us know, Angelo Leo is the inside fighter. Stephen Fulton looked excellent as an inside fighter here. Even though he had the jab the whole fight, he landed some great inside uppercuts. And I think he was very smart for doing this against a notorious inside body puncher like Angelo Leo. He would sort of tie up Leo's arms in the clinch and would always just, when he would get hit to the body, he'd clinch up with Leo. And Leo didn't know what to do, so he'd just hammer him with uppercuts to the head and shots of his own to the body. And he really looked like the aggressor in this one. Um, as I said before, I scored the fight 9-3, so uh, it was pretty wide in favor of Fulton. I mean, he looked excellent here. He's definitely one of the best guys at 122. I mean, just... A, Overall, great performance. I'd grade him out with an A-plus here. I expected the fight to be way closer, and he truly showed why he's one of the best fighters um, at the 122-pound division on the planet. But uh, what's next for uh, Stephen Fulton? In my opinion, I think he should take on Raiz um, Alim, who just won in the co-main event for the interim WBA Super Bantamweight World title. Uh, I just made a video on that fight, so you guys should go check that out. I'd appreciate it. But um, what's next for Angelo Leo after experiencing his first taste of defeat? Possibly a fight against Arnold K guy. Honestly, I kind of want to see that. Even though I think he beats K guy, it's a good comeback fight, good opponent, and K guy is familiar with Showtime, so I don't think that fight's going to be too hard to make. But um, I'm definitely thinking that uh, Leo should have a comeback fight, but but against a sort of top fifteen, top twenty guy like K guy. But um, Fulton, as I said before, he should take on Raiz Salim. That'll be an excellent fight. Interim WBA title with that WBO title, it will be tremendous. So overall, Stephen Fulton puts on an excellent performance, becoming the new in um, WBO Super Bantamweight World Champion as he defeats Angelo Leo, giving his first loss, um, and he won via wide unanimous decision. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm me boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.